Peace, what's happening? It's Craig Lagging and what's poppin', baby? It's your boy Africa and Someone's Tarot coming at you guys with your November 2019 low tarot reading. I hope you guys are well, so let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind this reading is general. If it resonates, that's awesome. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa, so take them out they resonate if they apply to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also check out my sister and her boyfriend's YouTube channel. First link in the description if you guys want to take a look into my family's life nonetheless let's see what's cracking baby what messages do we got coming through for aries please aries sun moon rising and venus signs during november 2019 messages for aries here aries sun moon rising and venus signs throughout november 2019 all right aries gang one last shuffle y'all coming through pretty quick let's see what's happening let's talk about it okay Aries, energy between you and another person, Nine of Pentacles. I'm doing my own thing, okay? It's a good vibe. Um, I do feel this energy where it's like, if I do have the opportunity to get a nice boo thing going, I'll definitely get with somebody, but I'm feeling this energy of, I'm kind of chilling right now, and I'm accepting being single. Yep, that's definitely the vibe that I'm seeing here, okay? Now, in regards to who you're dealing with here, you have a two of cups, can be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're dealing with an ass for the outcome, the four swords. So with the situation that I'm seeing here, I think you're making peace or making an acceptance here that there was a person that maybe you've wanted or maybe there was a person you were with that's now with somebody else and you're kind of making peace with that, okay? There may have been an individual that you wanted to be with, but considering that they're with somebody else, you're coming to an acceptance of this and you're saying, you know what? I'm fine being single and I'm gonna let you go. So I'm feeling this energy where someone's with someone else and you know what? Even if you may have cared for them, you're letting that go this month and you're allowing yourself to be free from it. Now clarifying the Six of Cups, take a look here okay oh baby there's a lot of stuff here you got an eight of swords you got an eight of cups you got a ten of swords and you got a king of cups yeah so i feel like you really love someone aries and they walked away to somebody else and i think that it was difficult for a very long time but this month you're making peace with that that's what i feel here because there is an ending here between you and probably whoever this is, okay? So whoever you're dealing with is in another relationship. I feel like you're no longer in a relationship or connection with you. And no matter how badly this hurt or no matter how badly this ending was, I just feel this energy of you letting go. You no longer want to focus on this person or whoever it is they're dating. You kind of want to just accept being single. And you're also coming to this place of understanding where it's like, at the end of the day, I know that something better is meant to come my way. I know this person is not meant to be with me. And it's like, if they're happy in this other relationship, let them be happy. I'm not even going to waste my energy or my time focusing on it, okay? So let's take a look here, all right? Aries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the person you're dealing with and how they're feeling towards you. Now, keep in mind, the person you're dealing with, they appear to be in a relationship. They're either in a relationship or dealing with somebody else. And this is what's interesting. If they're showing up in your reading, chances are person still has feelings for you. So we're going to take a look into that, okay? Now, let's take a look and see what's happening messages for aries in regards to who they're dealing with sun moon rising venus signs during november 2019 how does this person feel towards aries aries sun moon rising venus throughout november 2019 okay you got a ten of swords you got a queen of pentacles you have a high priestess card a two of swords you have a knight of wands mm -hmm. eight of cups oh baby here we go i knew it i feel like this person over here is they're thinking about you pretty heavily aries okay um and of course with the mercury retrograde happening it's bound for exes to think about their past partners etc um today's october 31st halloween so because it's october 31st mercury is now officially in retrograde in the zodiac sign of scorpio and every time mercury retrograde kind of appears it makes us think about our past this person's thinking about you so from my understanding of what I'm getting so far in this reading, there's a person that you've dealt with before. They did not choose you, they chose somebody else. They could have been with you and left you for somebody else, uh, whatever way it resonates, but whoever you're dealing with, they're in a relationship. And I feel like they have a past or previous history with you. And I'm seeing that in this current moment, you know, High Priestess card here, Knight of Wands, this person's thinking about you, but they're not thinking about you in the sense of romance. This person's thinking about you in a lusty manner, okay? And that's something that's definitely not a good vibe. So whoever this is you're connecting with here, Aries, they're not thinking about you romantically. They're thinking dirty thoughts, lusty thoughts, all that kind of jazz, okay? And I'm feeling really strongly that they're trying to manifest a situation with you where they can have you, but only what it is that they want from you, okay? So you're dealing with a, ma a man whore okay okay could be a female but we not gonna slut shame but i'm feeling this energy areas where the person you're dealing with they're trying to get something out of you which obviously is a romanticism it's most likely sex okay or they're just trying to have some sort of fun okay by you know getting that out from you but 
the thing is is that they're considering making a move so whoever you're dealing with they're in a relationship they were previously in a relationship or a connection with you they're thinking about you heavily they're getting very lusty they're having sexual thoughts about you and this person is considering trying to pull a fast one on you pull a move on you say hey maybe i can get some sex with my ex meanwhile i'm still with my girlfriend or boyfriend not a good vibe not good energy okay now with the eight of pentacles here the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, I feel like this person, even though they know that everything is absolutely done between you two, they might try here. I'm feeling this energy where they want to try. This person is going to want to try to reconnect with you um, and come back into your life, but in order only to get, you know, their fantasy. Because their fantasy is to have sex with their ex while still having whatever girlfriend or boyfriend they're currently dealing with, okay? So whoever you're connecting with here, they're having dirty fantasies. They're in this place in time right now where it's like, let me just get Aries so I can, you know, use them one last time, all right? I don't like that vibe, nor this person. Now, in regards to how you feel towards this, let's take a look at how you feel towards this person. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 2019. How is Aries feeling towards the individual they're dealing with? Okay, you've got a King of Cups and then the King of Swords, all right? I'm feeling this vibe where it's like, no matter what, you did really love this person at one time, and I'm sure, like, you know, surely enough, you might still care for them, but you have boundaries here, Aries, okay? And you're not gonna cross any sort of boundary, especially because you know what this person's capable of. You know that they broke your heart once, they can break your heart again, and I feel very strongly that you'd never return to them. I think you already made a commitment to yourself, Aries, that you'll never go back to this individual, therefore, you're not going to do so okay knight of swords two of wands yeah you're really in the space aries of choosing yourself and like i said you really did make acceptance of whatever ending or breakup happened between you and this person because right now nine of pentacles you're really just centered and focused on you okay because you're choosing yourself because that's your best option right now ten of pentacles to the eight of swords it's better for you to Put your mind and your focus and your energy into something so much better, such as building yourself, than obsessing or thinking about this person and the relationship they're in, okay? I, like I said, three of cups here, three of uh, swords here. When this person left you, and got together with somebody else. I feel like it was definitely a very painful moment for you. It was definitely heartbreaking, but you're just in this new energy where it's like, it's better for me to be productive on building and rebuilding myself rather than engaging with this individual. So, you know, you're on this place of healing and moving on. And I feel like many of you Aries already did move on. You've already made the commitment not, not to go back to this person. But over here, this individual is thinking about, well, you know, let me reconnect with Aries. Of course, it's Mercury retrograde. Let me see how they're doing. Keep in mind, they're in a partnership you know whoever you're dealing with is in a relationship they don't seem that loyal to be very fair and this person's thinking about you a lot they're having fantasies about you they're thinking about you in a dirty manner in a lusty manner i feel like they're trying to manifest a situation with you so that they could have maybe you know a nice one night stand and then go back home to the girlfriend or boyfriend you know that's not a good vibe here and ideally you know you may have fell for this person in the, in the beginning but you're about to see who this person really is so you're probably gonna be glad that a breakup was present especially if they're doing this to another man or woman that they're that they're with okay now in regards to where energies are aligning between you and this person let's take a look aries sun moon rising venus signs during november 2019 where energies are aligning between aries and this person Okay, let's take a look here. Page of Swords, they're watching you. Hierophant card, you already know that they're in a relationship. Three of Cups, got a King of Wands, got a Page of Pentacles, and you got a Ten of Wands. Absolutely, you might get put into a position, Aries, so be really mindful of that. This person's going to pull the move here, okay? With the Page of Swords to the Hierophant card, they're going to communicate outside of their relationship, which means they're going to communicate towards you. Um, this person's going to try to do it on the down low, so, you know, just be mindful, Aries. You might get a text from your ex, and they're going to try to keep everything very very low key like oh don't tell my girlfriend or oh don't tell my boyfriend i'm talking to you you know i just want to know how you're doing i want to make sure everything's okay how's life been this that and the third this person's gonna try to butter you up like a warm croissant but at the end of the day you are like look motherfucker i know you're in a relationship and king of wands i can tell you're trying to flirt with me okay aries you know when somebody's flirting you can tell when they're flirting real quick and it's like listen all right put your thing in your pants take your flirtiness and go focus that on your own partner not on me then the page of pentacles energy comes forward and with this page of pentacles energy the person you're dealing with over here they make an offer why don't we hang out aries it's been so long let's catch up let's do this let's do that and you're gonna start to realize the intent that is lying under this person 
like I said, I think they're looking for a one night stand, a quick hookup, you know, something fun just to re-engage for old time's sakes. And it's gonna put you in a position that makes you feel uncomfortable because with the 10 of wands, it's like, do I tell this person's partner or do I let this person rock? Because I know you're not engaging here, Aries. I know you're not giving them any sort of hookup or any one night stand or none of that stuff. You're not with it, you don't want it. But I feel like this person over here is gonna try to wait and see and hope that they can reel you in. Okay, what is my best advice for Aries here during this month? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs during November 2019. Okay, you got Knight of Pentacles, Stop It at All Costs, you got a Lover's Card, you got a, okay, a Strength Card, and then you got a Nine of Wands. Yep, I would definitely say here, Aries, don't get in between this person's relationship. Um, you know, it is up to you if you want to tell this person's partner that you know your ex over here is talking to you and trying to get with you in a sexual way that's up to you but i would say my best advice is, is you don't need the drama um i would do the best you can to limit yourself from this person just let them know like listen homeboy you ain't getting nothing like good luck and good riddance goodbye because i'm doing me i'm focused on me don't talk to me don't text me go enjoy your relationship and you know not for nothing you should be loyal to the partner you're with since you left my ass for that person anyways okay so with the lover's card here it's like I almost feel like you're going to tell this person off. You're not going to tell their partner, but you're going to tell them off. And I think that is really going to be well for you because not only are you going to get your energy out and your frustration out, which is good, you're going to purge it out on that person, but you might wake them up because it's like kind of fucked up what they're doing to their partner, let alone what they're doing to you. So I do feel this energy Aries where you definitely are going to go off on this person. Like, look, like not for nothing, you're dating somebody. You shouldn't be an asshole. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. Now I do want to take a quick peek real quick. Let me grab this deck um, into what's going on with this person's relationship. Because when people cheat, it's usually not for no reason. There are such things as compulsive cheaters, people that just do it because they feel the need to. There are definitely people that have loyalty and not in a single bone of their body, but usually, or at least most of the time, the reason why somebody cheats in a relationship is due to unhappiness. So what is going on in this person's relationship? Why is it coming down to this individual wanting to cheat with Aries? Okay, we got a sun card, got a nine of cups, got a queen of pentacles, got an ace of pentacles, a knight of pentacles, and what's going on on the partner's side? Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, oh baby, Six of Cups, King of Wands, and then the Hierophant card. So, based off what I'm seeing here, Aries, I wanted to do a little bit of a snoop. So your ex-partner here, who's in a relationship, right? I feel like there's a lot of problems that are at hand, and this is why your ex wants to cheat with you, even though they're dating somebody. Because whoever your ex is dating, they are getting fed up with that person that with your ex basically i'm trying not to confuse people okay so i'm going to try to make this like as easily communicated as possible because there's a lot of people involved so your ex partner who's in a who's in a relationship right your ex's current partner feels very so much uh, very much so rejected from your ex okay they feel rejected in the relationship they feel as if they don't get enough attention here. They feel like they consistently are feeling like they cannot communicate their feelings. So it's like, basically your ex's partner right now does not really like the position they're in when it comes towards their relationship. And in regards to your ex, your ex seems to only take a look at him or herself. I'm feeling this energy where your ex is kind of in the position where they do whatever they, you know, whatever the hell it is that they want, when they want it, and however they want it. Um, and they don't take other people into consideration. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, I almost feel like your ex is unhappy in the relationship they're in. They're just waiting for an opportunity for something new to arise. Like I said, you seem to be the opportunity, Aries, but they don't want a romantic relationship with you. They just want to hook up. And in this vibration as well, I do feel the energy where your ex-partner is already being unfaithful to whoever they're dating. So it's not even just you, Aries. I feel like there's other people that your ex-partner is talking to, communicating to, and trying to cheat with. So your ex ain't loyal at all, and your ex is not loyal to who it is they're dating. And whoever it is that they're dating right now, Five of Swords, they're considering leaving your ex because they can almost see the flirty um, behavior that's coming from him or her. And they don't like that, nor do they resonate with that. I feel like whoever your ex's partner is, and it really sucks because I feel bad for the person, I feel like their past was filled with a bunch of cheating, a bunch of manipulation, a bunch of just assholes, okay? And I feel like, you know, your ex is playing their current relationship partner really hard. And it sucks for whoever that is because 
I feel like part of them understands or realizes they're getting played, but another part of them cares too much about the relationship that they're in. So, you know, your ex is playing their current relationship partner really hard and it sucks, you know? So I'm just feeling this energy where it's like, you know, that person's not happy in the relationship. Your ex isn't happy in their own relationship. That's why they're going to seek pleasure out from other people. It's just a shit show here. And it's a shit show that you do not need to be a part of Aries. You don't need to be a part of this at all. Keep your distance. When this ex over here tries to get back with you, tries to hook up with you, tries to reconnect with you, just know it's all BS. Kind of keep yourself at a distance, okay? If you do make conversation with them, keep it light. And if they do over here with a page of uh, pentacles, if they do try to ask you, hey, you want to go hang out or you want to do this or you want to do that, say, nope, sorry, I'm busy. I got this, that, and the third, okay? Ignore the offers at all costs because that's what I'm feeling here from this person, okay? It's just not a good vibe. Um, like I did say though, for some of you guys here, you're going to be put in a position where you feel like you should tell your ex's uh, partner, okay, what, you're, what, you know, what your ex is doing, that your ex is a cheater, that your ex is talking to other girls or other boys, whatever. But I feel like you just don't need the drama, Aries. I think that your best approach right now is to kind of just leave your ex alone, leave their relationship alone, try not to get involved, try to limit yourself as much as you can, even if your ex tries to drag you into it, try to limit yourself as much as you can, um, and let karma do the job, because it will do its job, okay? Um, as for the overall outcome between you and your ex-partner here, let's take a look. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Yeah, November 2019. Let's take a look here. You got a full card, you got a six of pentacles, and then you got a five of pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> For some of you Aries here, you, you might actually play your ex, just saying here. With a full card, you might lead your ex on only to leave them in the dark, okay? That's karma, I'll tell you that. So some of you Aries might be playing around with your ex, making them think that they finna get the biscuit, but you ain't giving them shit. But as for the overall outcome that's present though, I do feel this energy where you're gonna keep it really lighthearted and you're not gonna talk to them. So it's like, when they come towards you, you'll respond for a little bit, you'll talk to them for a little bit, and then you'll completely cut them off. I'm just feeling this energy where you're gonna pass this opportunity up on by and continue focusing and reinvesting in yourself. Um, and it's also good, like I said, because if, you didn't realize before that your ex was somebody who is a pretty consistent cheater or somebody who is not very loyal. You're gonna see that now, which will give you clarity to know that this is not the person for me to go back to. And it's only gonna give you more confirmation to continue moving forward in your journey of self-love, in your journey of being single and recognizing that there is somebody else better out there for me and it's definitely not my ex-partner, okay? So that's good confirmation coming in as well. There's just a lot of fucking drama here this month. There's a lot of tea, there's a lot going on. So try not to get yourself involved in this all right like i said limit yourself as much as you can and keep enjoying you aries live drama free it's a better life okay aries thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys did if this did resonate with you let me know down in the comments down below take care have a fantastic and awesome day and i'll catch you guys for your november 2019 mid months all right peace